What's up guys this is Foedin of FoTK and this is going to be a tutorial on exterior lighting. So I did a video a couple of weeks ago about um, lighting up a scenery for the boxing arena, you know, boxing setting. So that was sort of interior and I showed how to do separate lights, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I got a request for exterior stuff. So if there's a guy outside, how do you make that all nice and lit? Well, I'm sort of going to show you how you can do it um, and the process of you know how how I would do it. So right here, I've just got a basic model of a tower, um, and I'm going to add this like a sea background. I mean, it did come with a sky dome like this. So when you render it out, oops, that didn't work. And the render one. There we go. So when you render it out, it's got some water and it's got. You know, like a nice background with sky. Um, that's up to you if you want to use that. I'm going to just, uh, you know, remove those and then do my own. Um, and the reason why is because I'm going to be using a physical sky, which I have done a separate tutorial on, but um, this one's mainly going to be focusing on illuminating this tower. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Window, Content Browser, and right now I'm going to go to Studio. And in order to have this, you do need to have Cinema 4D Studio, um, and all this comes with it. You want to go to render, and then you've got a nice um, C here. So you call highlight C, drag and drop that in. Uh, which actually, oh, funny enough, I've already got it in there. But I'll remove it, and then there we go. Delete the camera. Don't need that. And I'm going to delete the sky because I'm going to create my own. And same with the light. So there we go. We've just got a nice C set in. If I render that. There's no light, so you won't be able to see it. It's stupid me. Um, but that's what we're now going to add. So you can come up to the little floor thing here and add a physical sky. And the reason I do this is because you can sort of create your background to be how you want. And it also comes with the sun, which is exterior lighting, uh, realism. Because, you know, if you go outside your house and you just look, all the light that you see is being emitted from the sun. So if we go to physical sky and let our scene illuminate by our sun which is there um, you can change the position of it which is um, something I like about this so you get a time and location so it's 12 midday you can actually go through till the night time and have it all dark, nice and dark you can even do a time lapse if you want you know and do it from day to night so we're just gonna leave it around about yeah 2.55 in the afternoon, um, that would be nice because the sun's sort of orbiting around so it's sort of facing our, our model so that's going to help illuminate it. So let's render that. And this is when the render will start to get a bit slow because there will be shadows because of the sun. There we go and then we've got our C as well as you can see so it's nice open equator line. Um, right, what else can we do? Let's go to uh, basic and then we'll make sure you've got physical sky select. We go to basic and then you can check all these type of things. So you've got atmosphere, clouds. I usually add clouds. Um, and every time you check one of these, a new tab will open for you. And then you can sort of go in and check what clouds you want, choose how many layers. I like that one. But I will go to layer 5, um, but I'll make this one sort of different. Yeah, I'll make it really, cl there we go, I like that. Nice and cloudy and whatnot. Um, obviously, if you're going to have a lot of sun, um, the less clouds there'll be. The more clouds, the less bright the sun is, if that makes sense. So it's more going to be a white, more than or like an orange look. Um, so that's sort of a realism factor that you could think of. And you can even see the clouds reflecting in the, the sea. Right, let's go to sun and make sure that's all good. Yep, 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 yep. So if I just zoom out and then do it, obviously the sea doesn't look that great, but there's going to be another thing which I'm going to add in, which is another sky. So there you go, it looks pretty basic and whatnot. But I want to fade the background out. Now what I usually do is I again come to the content browser, scroll down to the same studio folder, you've got these three atmospheres. I usually like 
Well, it depends what time. If it's day, it's this one. If it's sort of night or dusk, it's this one. I'm going to choose the day one, and I'm going to drag that in, delete the camera, and only leave the sky. Um, however, on this one, you come to basic, and you'll take out the sun and the sky. You don't need those because we've got that on our other physical sky. The only thing that this sky is used for is the atmosphere. So if I now render that, yeah, you've got a slight fog. So that's sort of one way that you can um, do it. And then obviously the background fades. Um, the sky, a bit different. But if you're going to be using something like this, then you might as well just shove the sky on the atmosphere layer and turn off the physical sky and do it as one layer. That, that's something I should have actually told you. Let's go back to that time location and we'll go to 2.55. And this is with our atmosphere as well. And let's see what it looks like. So very bluey, foggy, horrible type, type feel. So what I would do then, I wouldn't leave it here. Usually once you've got your sort of lighting set up for your scene, um, I'd usually set set up some more light, so I'll come to merge, and then I'd do me three point lighting again, which is in my 3D animation pack. If you want to go and check it out, just download it and then hit the light, and then unhide and size up. As you know, we can hide it for the time being, the lights anyway, because uh, what I want to do is I want to get the guy about the same size as a tower and the reason I put this guy in is because it's more reference for you to help light your models there we go and we'll face it towards me we'll face the guy towards me because wherever the guy is facing towards that's sort of where the light will be hitting because the light's hitting the front of his body so we want to place that in the same position as our model and then we can just delete him and our light is all in position so if I render that now, we can see what we've got. It's going to start turning a bit more orangey. But you still got that fog factor. Now, I'm not trying in this tutorial to make it look perfect or anything like that. I'm just going through the various steps um, so you know how to create these in order to mix and match to do your own one. Um, obviously, if you do want to go something more specific, you will need to take a little bit more time with the settings and the, the lights and have a bit of a play around to really you know make it what you want because you're not going to just go yep yeah, do this and this and this and then it's going to look amazing um maybe in the future that might happen you know there's certain things that can help you with like driving plugins and all that kind of stuff um but i like to keep it by hand you sort of develop your skill more that way so there we go now we've got a scene with a nice fog and a nice lighting as well obviously the lighting is reflecting on our sea and if you want to stop that, that's nice and easy. Um, I can't remember if it's in here. Okay, well, you know what I'll do. I'll just, I'll just grab all three of these, right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and then Scene by Reflection. Our C is reflective, so it is reflecting our light. And it's still doing it, that's not good. Seen by reflection. I couldn't remember if it's on the light as well though. Eww. So we want show illumination, yes. Just trying to figure out where it was. Here it is compositing. Or is that the thing that I've just opened up? Yeah it is, okay. So that's our compositing tag. Just trying to have a quick look to see. Can't remember. Because if I don't show show illumination on any of them, you won't get the light, will you? Well, you might. Specular, maybe. I know there it is. It was the specular. I, I know it's one of them. So then we can just come back on and check our show illumination back on. Remove the specular because that's what's reflecting on the the sea. 
like I said, it just takes a bit of time. That's all. I mean, in a way, you could you you could have that specular on there because um, it's it could make it more realistic. But like I said, if that's you know if you wanted to remove it, that's how you do it. And that's how I would sort of you know light an exterior. And what I'll do is I'll just do a quick render of both. So current frame, yeah, that'll do. Really small pixels. That's that's fine. Just so you can see the the image lighten, and that's clear enough to see it. Um, and then what we can do is we can take away these external lights, so we just have the sunlight. There we go. So this is a render with just natural sunlight, and that's a render with sunlight and my three point lighting. So depends really what effect you want. That's more darkish maybe the sun's on the other side you know so it's just left with shadows but that, that's sort of how I would do it and then obviously if you have a nice background as well you can do that mine's just sea and sky with fog so you're not really going to get much out of that um so yeah that hopefully that answers your questions and it's the same with people you know just act like you know see this as an object and you want to light that object so if you want to light a person replace this with a person you know it's the same principle throughout um, but do be careful if you do have a big scene and you want to do three point lighting as well. I'd suggest this is what I'd do anyway. I'd do the three point lighting on the area that I'm going to be rendering. I wouldn't worry about the rest because that's going to be, you know, that's going to decrease your workflow because the, the computer is going to try and render all of that with lighting and that. So just focus on the area that you're going to do, render that out, and then go on to another area and then light that scene, you know, for that. Obviously, you're going to have to change different bits, but. Um, to work a bit quicker, that's what I'd suggest. So I hope this has helped. Um, please like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.